My dear students and colleagues, welcome to this short video in which we will discuss the writing of an academic reports. كتابة التقارير الأكاديمية. So we will begin this presentation with definition of academic reports and then we will jump to the structure of reports. We need also to discuss the sections of each academic report and then we would talk about what to write in each section. So what is an academic report? Simply speaking, an academic report is a piece of writing produced for a class that uses a formal style to convey information learned through reading and experimentation. طبعا التقرير الاكاديمي هو جزء من الكتابه اللي احنا نستخدمه بالصف بالدراسه الاكاديميه يكون من ضمن خصائصه اسلوبه الفورمال الرسمي من اجل نقل معلومه معينه تعلمناها من خلال قراءة أو تجربة. So academic reports are a required part of many fields of study, including chemistry, physics, biology, sociology, and even humanities, like political science and linguistics. طبعا التقارير الأكاديمية موجودة في جميع الميادين العلمية. So what is the importance of academic reports? What is the uh, uh, very important aspects of an academic report? We need to look for the structure of reports. لازم نعرف مما يتكون التقرير أو التقرير الأكاديمي. A key feature of reports is that they are formally structured in sections. The use of sections makes it easy for the reader to jump straight to the information they need. Unlike an essay, which is written in a single narrative style, from start to finish, each section of a report has its own purpose and will need to be written in appropriate style. For example, the methods and results sections are mainly scripted, whereas this section the discussion section needs to be analytical. طبعا الاختلاف بين المقالة والتقرير هو أنه المقالة نفس الأسلوب السردي. بدينا بالماضي نتكلم بالماضي. بدينا بالوصفي نستمر الوصفي. لكن بالتقرير الأكاديمي لازم نركز على الغاية من التقرير. لذلك لازم يكتب في أسلوب مناسب. مثلا في المثودز والريزولتس نتائج مال التقرير والاساليب اللي راح نستخدمها بالتحليل لازم نستخدم الاسلوب الوصفي بينما بالدسكشن بالمناقشه راح نستخدم الاناليتيكال ستايل الاسلوب التحليلي طبعا هذا التقرير التقرير الاكاديمي لازم يشمل هذه الامور بس احنا بال باختصاصنا بالينغوستكس اني راح اني راح لخص بعض الاساسيات المهمه اللي لازم تستخدمها في اجزاء التقرير so generally speaking understanding the function of each section will help you to structure your information and use the correct writing style so the various sections of reports requires to requires you to pay attention to the kind of writing that you need in each section. Then we need title page, table of contents, executive summary, introduction, literature, methodology, findings, discussions, conclusions, recommendations, and references. reports. <laughs> أنه أنت بالliterature review والmethodologies والfindings تستخدم نظام النظرية أو النظرية والفرضية بالبحوث تعتمد على النظرية بالتحليل وتفرض فرضية سواء كانت true or false أو you ask a question 
بالنسبة للبحث العلمي لكن بالريبورت انت ما راح تغير things are already there just you need to rephrase them in the way that you intend to present your work إذن simply speaking short reports usually have أريد بكتابة التقارير يكون بها title مو بالضرورة summary لكن title page هسه راح نعرف شنو نكتب بالتايتل ما تقول لي تسأل سؤال يجي نأسك what are the things that I, I need to mention in the title page راح أشرحها later now later slides I mean introduction discussion findings conclusion and recommendation so what do you write in each section راح تكتب كل واحد من ذن in each part or each section of the report بالنسبة لل title page for example you need the title of the report your name name of the course the details acquired on the title page are often stipulated in the assignments or course outline يعني انت uh, ليش لتكتب التقرير لأنه as a part of an assignment for example you say this is uh, this report is uh, compiled and prepared for the assignment in linguistics for example and so on table of contents definitely you need to compile accord to be compiled according to the headings and subheadings of the report using appropriate heading functions on Microsoft Word can easily auto format your table of contents and create. طبعا هنا Word هو يعطينا الطريقة المثلى في إنشاء جداول المحتويات. اللي يعرف على Word بسهولة راح is, is able to create a table of contents for his or her report. بالنسبة لل summary أو abstract لازم تكتبها. This section summarizes the, the report in paragraph of about 100 to 200 words. Emphasize the objective, هدف ما تكشنو كتابة التقرير, and the analysis of the results. وشنو طلعت النتائج? Avoid the temptation to copy a whole paragraph from elsewhere in your report and make it to um, do double duty. طبعا انت من سو copy paste من غير report can be easily, you know, checked and uh, ممكن discovered so easily. Remember, the abstract should be a precise and specific summary. Give the don't need. There is no need to give details, and it's gonna be supported later. When the introduction, the introduction contextualizes your research and highlights its relevance. It often includes information on the background of the report, its purpose, and the scope of your research. And that's a more important the introduction. Uh, لازم تأكد عليها purpose غلط هذا report شنو scope of your research مجالك مجال هذا report شنو هو and the back, background of the report شون وصلت إلى هذا report أو على أي أساس أنت تكتبه use the introduction to provide the reader with any background information which the reader will need before you can launch into the body of your paper or report Example sentence of an introduction. I will introduction that as well. The purpose, highly metal. The purpose of this report is to analyze the grammar mistakes made by EFL learners at university level. For example, discussion. What do you have to do in the discussion? You need to write the most important. This is the most important part of your report. It makes many forms and have subheadings of its own. يعني بي فروع أخرى subheading. Its basic components are methods, findings, results, and evaluation or analysis. Most academic assignments should also focus on your evaluation of the subject. تكتب بالدسكش راح تقول راح تقول لك تكتب methods. يعني شو methods؟ وسائل أنه مثلاً هذا هذا التقرير احنا اقتبسنا من كتاب جورج جول فور اكزامبل لينغوستكس اذا كتبت عن براغماتكس فور اكزامبل 
او سيمانتكس او سكند لانجويج اكوزيشن او بالنسبه للصوت انتونيشن ستريس اند سو اون Before you begin writing, ask the questions. لازم تسأل who, when, where, what, why, how. هاي analytical questions or critical thinking questions. This part of the report is crucial for two primary reasons. مهم. It explains the conclusion and it justifies the recommendation. When it comes to writing the discussion, remember to present the study in a logical and systematic manner. can also divide the material into separate sections using headings and subheadings that define a particular part. Oh, and we also we are also talking about the discussion section of the report and in that I'm going to tell them and ممكن نقسم discussion. Also, this will help improve one's understanding of what is being conveyed. تعبر للقارئ عن انت عن شنو الفكره اللي تشير لها using evidence to prove your claims and explain your findings it's also a must you need to persuade persuasion persuade يعني تقنع the readers into believing that your stance رايك stance يعني opinion is fully valid and reliable يعني موجود ومثق به example sentence with discussion Good, the purpose of the study was to investigate whether students in higher education on a writing course would benefit from computer-assisted instruction. The findings clearly suggest that they do. higher education, في كتاباتهم في كورسات الكتابة يستفادون من استخدام Computer Assisted Instruction وبينت النتاج أنهم Clearly suggest They do Conclusion شو راح تكتب بال Conclusion This section should detail the results طبعا راح تكتب النتاج مالتك Of the exercise so the facts These can be presented in text or tabulation طبعا format هذه طريقة طريقة التابيليشن format مو مطلوب منكم حاليا ان تعرفون شنو تابليشن فورمات بس ات هاز تو بي انه النتائج تكون واضحه if the results are quite short they can be presented within the body of the, the report اذا كانت وي يعني قصيره النتائج ممكن تلحقها بالدسكشن the conclusion of the report reinforces the points raised in the body section and ties these together to form an argument. No new ideas or evidence should be raised on this section. Instead, it serves to consolidate your assignment or assessment of your research. And now until the conclusion, ماكو أفكار جديدة. أنت اللي شيء ناقشته بالدسكشن مجرد تعيد صياغته باستنتاجاتك. Okay? In order to consolidate. Consolidate يعني تعزز your assessment تقييمك لي البيانات. That's it. It's very simple. So you need to focus on um, the sections, the structure, okay? And don't miss uh, any of the ideas that you are trying to argue. Thank you so much. And